Hargobind Karana, was an Indian-American biochemist who shared the 1968 Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine with Marshall W. Nirenberg and Robert W. Hawley for research that showed how the order of nucleotides and nucleic acids, which carry the genetic code of the cell, control the cell's synthesis of proteins. Karana and Nirenberg were also awarded the Louisa Gross Horwitz Prize from Columbia University in the same year. Karana was born in Raipur, British India, today Tessal Kabirwala, Punjab, Pakistan, and later moved to become an Indian citizen after the partition of 1947. He served on the faculty of the University of British Columbia from 1952 to 1960, where he initiated his Nobel Prize winning work. He became a naturalized citizen of the United States in 1966, and subsequently received the National Medal of Science. He CEO directed the Institute for Enzyme Research, became a professor of biochemistry in 1962 and was named Conrad A. Elvegem Professor of Life Sciences at University of Wisconsin-Madison. He served as MIT's Alfred P. Sloan Professor of Biology and Chemistry, Emeritus, and was a member of the Board of Scientific Governors at the Scripps Research Institute. Research Work Ribonucleic Acid, RNA with three repeating units produced two alternating amino acids. This, combined with the Nirenberg and Letter experiment, showed that UCU codes for serine and CUC codes for leucine. RNAs with three repeating units produced three different strings of amino acids. RNAs with four repeating units including UAG, UAA, or UGA, produced only dipeptides and tripeptides thus revealing that UAG, UAA, and UGA are stop codons. With this, Karana and his team had established that the mother of all codes, the biological language common to all living organisms, is spelled out in three-letter words, each set of three nucleotides codes for a specific amino acid. Their Nobel lecture was delivered on December 12, 1968. Karana was the first scientist to chemically synthesize oligonucleotides. Subsequent Research he extended the above to long DNA polymers using non-aqueous chemistry and assembled these into the first synthetic gene, using polymerase and ligase enzymes that link pieces of DNA together as well as methods that anticipated the invention of PCR. These custom-designed pieces of artificial genes are widely used in biology labs for sequencing, cloning and engineering new plants and animals and are integral to the expanding use of DNA analysis to understand gene-based human disease as well as human evolution. Corona's invention, S, have become automated and commercialized so that anyone now can order a synthetic oligonucleotide or a gene from any of a number of companies. One merely needs to send the genetic sequence to one of the companies to receive an oligonucleotide with the desired sequence. Since the middle of the 1970s, his lab has studied the biochemistry of bacterial rhodopsin, a membrane protein that converts light energy into chemical energy by creating a proton gradient. Later, his lab went on to study the structurally related visual pigment known as rhodopsin. Awards and Honors Corona was elected as foreign member of the Royal Society, for members, in 1978. The University of Wisconsin-Madison, the Government of India DBT Department of Biotechnology, and the Indo-US Science and Technology Forum jointly created the Corona Program in 2007. The mission of the Corona Program is to build a seamless community of scientists, industrialists, and social entrepreneurs in the United States and India. The program is focused on three objectives, providing graduate and undergraduate students with a transformative research experience engaging partners in rural development and food, security, and facilitating public-private partnerships between the U.S. and India. In 2009, Corona was hosted by the Corona Program and honored at the 33rd Steinbach Symposium in Madison, Wisconsin. Death Corona died of natural causes on November 9, 2011 in Concord, Massachusetts, aged 89. A widower since 2001, he was survived by his children Julia and Avell.